In this video, I'll be solving these tricky JavaScript questions. Now, before I go ahead and solve these questions, I'm first going to run the code. And before I run the code, you can just pause this video and you can try to figure out the answer on your own. And if you get it right, then that's well and fine. You can skip the entire video. And if you didn't, then you can just watch me explain the solution of this question throughout the remaining part of the video. So I'll just run this code now. And this is the output of each of these console logs that you see over here. If you got the same answer, then that's great. You can skip this video. And for those of you who did not get the right answer, I will be explaining the solution of each and every line one by one. All right. So first of all, I'll just clear this out. So the first, um, I'll just backspace this once. So the first line says console log boolean of false. Now always remember that only if there is an empty string, so only if there is nothing present within this string, only in that case, if we try to find out the boolean of that value, do we get the answer as false. But in this case, the string is not empty. So whenever there is something in the string, no matter whatever there is, and you try to get the boolean of that, it all, it's always going to return true, all right? So in the event where this was empty, in that case, you would get false. Otherwise, you will always get true if there is something within the string. Now line number two, which is console log boolean of false. So here false is anyway a boolean. So if you try to get a boolean of false itself, it will give you nothing but false as well because it's already a boolean type. So there won't be any conversion. So this will be false. All right. Now the next line, this is string of three plus one. So whenever we have one part as a string then the entire expression gets concatenated so here since we are doing plus and we are doing a string plus a number so this number won't add up they will just get concatenated so what we'll get instead is a string which will have three and one within it all right so these two get concatenated now for the next line it's three minus one this three is a string now it's important to remember that in this case where we have a subtraction and not an addition in that case even if one part is a string we will have a proper conversion but what i mean by that is whenever we use minus and either part is a string then javascript converts this string to a number and that's happening because there is a minus operator over here so in the end this will end up giving us nothing but three minus one which will give us two because when javascript sees that we are trying to subtract both of them then if there's any part which is a string javascript converts it to a number and there's a proper subtraction between the two numbers now the next part is three minus zero two now these two are strings as well and as i said if there is subtraction then javascript converts the string to a number so these two will get subtracted and when there is a string to number conversion the white spaces are also trimmed out so the white space you see before and after zero two they get trimmed out so we'll just have a normal calculation similar to the first one so this will return three minus two which is nothing but one now on to the next one now here also for subtraction as well as multiplication when we use multiplication and either part is a string then the string gets converted to a number as well so in this case as well there will be a proper multiplication between the two numbers because javascript will convert them to numbers and we will get nothing but three multiplied by two which is nothing but six now for the next line we have console log number of string one so since one is a number so javascript will see within this string we actually have a number and so in that case javascript will allow the string to number conversion so when we do number of this one this string one javascript will see one is actually a number even though it's wrapped within a string javascript will see that because we're trying to convert it to a number and after we convert it to a number one will be a valid number that's why javascript will allow this conversion to take place and we will get nothing but one returned so one will be outputted here now in the next line we are trying to do number of a string but that string is not a number that string is a text which is number itself so in this case when javascript tries to do a string to number conversion javascript will see that the value within the string is not a number so in the previous case we had one so if it was one two three anything like that javascript would see that the value within the string is a valid number so a string to number conversion would be allowed and when we do number of string one it would convert it to a one but here the string to number conversion won't be valid because the value within the string which is this number is a text it's a string so javascript will see that it can't convert it to a number and therefore it will end up returning not a number which in short is written as n a n all right so now for the next line Actually, for the next two lines, whenever null or false is passed to number, they just become zero. So this line will return zero and this line will also log zero. 
So null and false when converted to a number just become zero. So I hope you understood the explanation to each of these console logs. It's always important to understand how we got this NAN over here. So basically if a string is passed that doesn't contain numerical characters, then it ends up returning NAN. And also if null and false are being tried to be converted to a number, then they just become zero. So these are simple but important to know questions in JavaScript. All these little trick questions will absolutely strengthen your knowledge in JavaScript. And I hope you got to learn something new from this video. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as usual, stay tuned for more.